I've used it with a beauty blender and with a blender and a brush. Nope. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another new at the drugstore video for y'all today. I'm telling you, if you love these videos, you're in the right place because I love them too. And I've already got a bunch of them on my channel because there are so many new releases out right now, which I'm loving, but I'm having to do like different videos because there's just so much to go over. So I've already got several on my channel. Today is going to be all about wet and wild stuff. So I have some base products to go over, contouring, highlighting type of things, um, foundation-y things. I've got some eye things, some lip things, just a lot of things to go over. So I'm gonna run through the different things. I'm gonna show you swatches and just kind of give you my overall impressions and thoughts on these products. So let's get to it. Starting off with some face products, there is a new foundation, a new concealer, and a new powder. And these are all part of the Photo Focus line, which as I understand it, this line is basically supposed to make your skin look really nice on camera. So that kind of like Photo Focus, um, just really perfected look to your skin on film and pictures, camera, blah, 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 all the photo things. So first off, this is the foundation. I got it in Soft Ivory. So this is called the Photo Focus Foundation. I got Soft Ivory, which is 362C, and it says, Goodbye Photo Flashback. Helps eliminate white particle reflection. It was tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash. So let me know if you want me to do like a full dedicated review to this where I actually like demo it on my skin so you can see like what it looks like, how I like to apply it. This is just gonna be like a general overview now. So it's a like twist up sort of a cap and it's got like a little scoopy spatula sort of a situation here. So that's what the little applicator looks like. So one main thing I wanna note about this foundation is it smells straight up like paint. Like you are painting your walls. It smells straight up like paint. So don't know how I feel about that because that's a little bit, I don't know, disturbing in some way, but who knows? Maybe it's just something with the pigments. Like, I don't even know, but it smells like paint. Um, I am liking this foundation. It's, I'm still kind of like forming thoughts about it, to be honest. What I like about it is it is very skin-like. I do think it looks nice in photos. Um, it's pretty light coverage, in my opinion. It's kind of like a light to medium. It can be built up to more, I'd say medium to full, but it's not like a full, full coverage. It has sort of like a liquidy kind of a texture to it. Um, it honestly reminds me kind of of the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation, which I actually don't like. Um, but I like this one a lot better than that. I feel like it's like a good version of that, but it sort of has that like soft silicone-y sort of a texture to it and a light sort of a coverage that can be built up. But that one like separates and gets all weird and stuff on me. This one doesn't do that and it does really last well throughout the day. So overall I'm impressed with it. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with it. I've used it with a beauty blender and with a blender uh, blender and a blender brush. Nope, a beauty blender and with a brush, and I like it both ways. Um, I do find that I have to use a lot more product with the beauty blender, um, but I like the look of both ways. So overall, I'm liking this. Really enjoying the concealer. This is the Photo Focus Concealer, and I got it in Light Ivory. So I'm wearing all these products on my face today. I'm just really impressed with the coverage on this and how it blends. This is the only concealer that I have on my face today. Normally, I do multiple concealers. But this one's just good. Like, it reminds me a lot, um, both in packaging and in performance, to the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I really, really like that one. This has like a doe foot sort of an applicator to it. But it's just really good coverage to it and a really nice creamy sort of a texture to it. So it blends into the skin really nicely, gives great coverage doesn't break down. I'm really enjoying this concealer. This is one of the standout products for me in their new releases. The powder overall I'm really liking too. It has a really nice kind of like silky sort of a texture to it. It almost reminds me of like um, a baked powder or something like that, like just the way it feels. Um, the only real kind of like thing I'm not loving about it, which is more of a personal preference and more related to my skin type, is I look a little bit dewy with it, especially later in the day. Um, so I kind of have to blot with it. It just has a more kind of 
um, not dewy look, but it's definitely not matte, which I'm not into as much like super, super matte powders anymore, but I kind of like more of a natural finish. I would say this is natural moving into slightly glowy, but it's not glowy. I don't know. It just looks a little bit like that on my skin, and I feel like I get glowy a little bit quicker with it, but really nice texture to it. It does look beautiful on the skin. I think especially like if you are normal to dry, I think you'd really like this powder. If you are combo, I think you'll like it too. If you're super oily, I don't know if this will work for you. Um, you might just have to do a lot more blotting throughout the day, but overall liking this too. Then they have some new makeup sticks out. So they have contouring sticks, blush sticks, and highlighting sticks. So I grabbed one of each to try out for you guys. So. The ones that I got, let me show you swatches while I'm telling you. The highlighter is 800 When the Nude Strikes. The blush in the middle is 803 Floral Majority, which I think this was the darkest one. I did that purposely because I really wanted to see the pigmentation on it. And then the contour is 804A Oaks on You. Oaks on You. <laughs> That's a really cute name. So there are the swatches on those. Um, so I have several thoughts on these. First off, they have a funny smell. They smell kind of, um, waxy. Waxy, I almost put that up my nose to smell it. Waxy and a little bit like, not painty, but just kind of waxy. And I mean, it's, I, the smell kind of bothers me. But I mean, it goes away, it's really not that big of a deal, but every time I open it, I'm like, ew, I just, don't like the smell of them. So I'm not wearing these on my face today because I'm wearing other things I'm about to mention, but overall I'm not the biggest fan of these. I think it's more personal preference because I really don't like makeup stick type products very much. I find that they just kind of like move my makeup underneath. Um, but these, I don't know. Like, okay, overall I would say the contour stick I do like. Oh, I am wearing this today. I forgot I'm wearing, I do have this blush on today. So I have that one on, but I don't have this on or this. Overall, I do like the contour stick out of these, I guess. I mean, you can see it, I mean, look at that giant uh, swatch there. That, I mean, it really blends out for sure, but it's kind of like a yucky sort of a color. So I don't love the color of it, but I don't know. I mean, it, it sort of blends, but kind of really doesn't, so. I guess overall I really don't like that one very much either. Then we have the blush and this one really like even though it's the darkest it kind of blends away and I don't know I, I put quite a bit on today and it's really just not showing up all that much so even the darkest one on my fair complexion isn't showing up a lot and then the highlighter looks really beautiful but when I blend it out Again, I have to apply quite a bit of it, and I think they're just okay. I think it's really going to be more personal preference. If you're used to working with makeup sticks, you may really like these, but for me, um, I think I'm just overall not all that excited about them, but I am excited about the next thing. I'm so sorry I'm doing yet another outfit change in this video, and I have a different excuse this time. This time my file was corrupt, so I'm having to refilm this part, so excuse, excuse, excuse <laughs> the outfit change and my lack of being able to say words properly. But let's get into the products. <laughs> So these, I'm really excited about. These are the Mega Cushion Contour and Mega Cushion Highlight. So I think these are adorable. The packaging is super duper cute and I have a cold right now. So I didn't have a cold before, but now I have a cold. So please excuse that also. So anyway, really cute packaging on these. They have these really cute little like characters on them. So I love the packaging. So these are both cushion products. So they have like a screw off lid and then you open it up and it's got this little like, you know, puffy dealy there. That's its proper name, I'm sure, a little puffy dealy. And then you pop the little um, cover off. I would really like it if it had like a little hinge thing like a lot of cushion foundations do, um, but this you actually have to like lift it off. So this is what the cushion looks like. And then the product is down inside. So there is the contour and then there is the highlighter. So contour, this is more of kind of like a um, 
mid-tone sort of a color so I really like that it's not super warm toned it's not super uh, cool tone it's just right in the middle so I really like the tone of it and this blends really nicely into the skin so I really really like the contour I think it's so nice really good quality adorable packaging then you get to the highlighter this is really pretty too let me show you in the packaging let me show you this first so it's kind of like a I don't know very light champagne slightly pinky tone sort of a highlighter and I notice it I'm wearing both of these today I notice this being more like brightening more so than like a wha-bam in your face highlighter so you know it's kind of going to depend on your preference like are you looking for a wha-bam highlighter if so I don't know if you're going to think this is really it it's more of that kind of like brightening sort of an effect on the skin so let me show you this one so this one looks it looks very pinky in the actual container but it's just kind of fun like I think these are fun to use there's something different the packaging super cute it's fun to kind of use a different sort of a product I use a small stipple brush with them I find that they blend into the skin really nicely they wear well so I'm really really liking these not a big fan of the stick products, but I really like the cushion ones. Then they have a new eyeliner and a couple new mascaras. So starting with the eyeliner, this is the Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner. It says, get the skinny, laser precision, micro thin tip. So I really like the packaging on it. I think it's super cute with the pink and black. So I love the branding on this one. Now this, I'm not super duper excited about um, other than the packaging. I find this kind of hard to use. It's a really, really tiny, skinny tip. So part of me is like, I mean, it totally delivers on what it says it's gonna do because it's a very tiny eyeliner and it's, you know, the skinny tip eyeliner. Yes, it doesn't really say anything about it being necessarily long wearing. It just says, go from subtle to outrageous with the easy to control brush. Now that I don't know if I agree with because I think this is kind of hard to use. Perfect for tight lining, cat eye looks, and intricate designs. So I found this hard to use. Um, it just was hard to get like an exact line and really like do my wing with it. So I found it hard to use, but that's because I'm used to just a more like long tipped felt tip liner or brush sort of a liner, like a pen, not a pencil liner, but like a pen sort of a liner. I'm used to that more so. And this is just really tiny. So I think it's gonna be personal preference, but I find this a little bit, a little bit, blah, 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 a little bit difficult to use. And also it did smudge on me a little bit. So overall, I'm not super impressed with this, but if you're looking for a very tiny eyeliner and not necessarily looking for it to be super long wearing, you may be a fan of this, it's just not my favorite product. And this is the Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. It says, get the skinny, captures every lash, ultra skinny precision brush. So again, really cute pink and black packaging. So I was really hoping that this would be like a dupe for the IT Cosmetics Tightline Mascara, which is what I have on my lower lashes today. Um, and I think it like does a pretty good job, especially for the price point. This is like $5. The IT Cosmetics one is like, you know, 20 something. So I think this does a pretty good job for the price point, but it's not quite as small. So the, the wand isn't quite as small as the tight line. And I did find that this smudged a little bit on me, but so does the tight line. Um, but this one smudged just a little bit more on me than the tight line did. So, um, you know, Overall, I think it does a pretty good job, especially for $5. I think it was around $5, um, but I don't like it as much as the tight line. But again, it's a fraction of the cost. And this mascara has some fun packaging. This is the Lash Renegade Mascara. It says built-in fiber formula, boost volume and length. And it says caution, lashes that break the rules, multi-dimensional. So this is what it looks like. Really, really like packaging on it. I think it's a lot of fun. I got it in brazen black. So I have used this multiple times. It says smudge proof, ophthalmologist tested, safer contact lens, contact wearers, contact lens wearers. So I've used this multiple times and I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Love the packaging on it. I think it's really fun looking. Um, it's kind of like a funky sort of a wand. It's got like the two little, you know, sections to it. It's got the little sort of ball tip applicator on the end there. Um, I like the final version of this. I'm not wearing this today. I was when I originally filmed this clip. So I'll wear this again in a video soon for y'all. But I like the end result with this. It looks actually a 
not as good as I'm wearing my It Cosmetic Superhero mascara. Not as good as my It Cosmetic Superhero, but pretty good. Like it does get some good volume, some good length. Really doesn't smudge on me, so I was impressed with that. The only negative I have to say about this is that it takes a lot to get there. I would say literally probably 10 coats. And I mean, I usually use a lot of coats of mascara, but not 10. I'm usually at like, I don't know, maybe three or four coats of mascara, but this I just kept having to layer and layer and layer to really get the effect that I was going for. But I think it did a, pr a pretty good job. You just have to use a lot of it. So that's kind of the negative to it, but the end result I do like. Now onto some lip products. So one benefit of filming this in two different parts is that I actually went back and purchased two more of these because I like them so much. These are the Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liners. It says our first gel lip liner. So I have three different shades here. So I've got them swatched here for you. So this one over here, this kind of like nudie brown color is Bare to Comment. So that's the one that I purchased first and loved it so much that I went back and purchased the other two. The middle one, the pinky shade is Never Petal Down. And then the burgundy shade is Gone Burgundy. Super adorable names, once again, love them. So this one is actually what I have on my lips right now. I have nothing else on my lips. I didn't fill them in with something else. Um, I don't have another lipstick on. I'm just wearing this lip liner. So let me show you the packaging on these. So I love the outside packaging. It's got the coloring on the side so you can easily see what the shade is. These are retractable and they have the colors at the top so you can easily see what the color is. You don't have to sharpen them so they're really easy. So I love that they're retractable. I love that you can easily see the color both on the actual packaging and the outside box. Love, love the formula on these. They remind me a lot of the Sephora gel lip liners where they're just super creamy and comfortable. So not only are they a really like a, a, blah, 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 a really nice lip liner, but they also can be used by themselves. You can wear them just as your lip product, as a lip color. So I feel like they're really versatile. This shade in particular is very kind of like Jordana Tawny. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. So this is definitely a standout product for me. I'm loving these lip liners, highly recommend them. I'm not a big fan of this product, unfortunately. This is the Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream, and I got it in 100A Melon It Like It Is. So super cute name on it. They do such a good job with their names. They're just fun. Um, and I do like the packaging on it. It's really cute. It's got that same look as the Cushion Highlighter and Cushion Contour, so I love the design. Um, but I'm just not a big fan of the product itself. Kind of reminds me of um, the Sephora version that came out last summer, but I just liked those better. I like the formula of those a little bit better. Um, but this is in the same sort of family, so it's that kind of like squeezy tube, um, squishy, spongy applicator on the end. So not the most precise application, so I don't love that about it. Um, but I just don't really like the color of it either. There was this one, a bright pink and a bright purple. At least they look like they would be bright in the packaging. So, I don't know. I find that it's hard to apply, not a big fan of the color, and it also feels drying on the lips to me. And it kind of like accentuates um, dry patches. So it kind of just has a lot of strikes against it. Hard to apply, really bright color that I wouldn't get a ton of use out of and just kind of a little bit dry feeling on the lips. I'm also not super duper wowed by this product either. This is the Gel Lip Balm and I got it in the color 952 Shock. So I got a bright color for some reason. I really don't know why I picked the bright pink, but I did. I love the packaging to it. I mean, it's really like fun and 80s sort of looking. So I love the pink and black packaging and the other ones kind of like, you know, match their color as well. So I like the packaging on it. And I like the concept of it, that it's just kind of like a comfortable balm, you know? Um, really pretty color too. So I like that also. I think it's a fun, bright pink. So those are all good things. Really the, the thing I'm not super duper wowed by is it just sort of feels a little bit kind of greasy feeling on the lips. So it's not super hydrating. It just more feels kind of greasy, oily. And it did sort of like accentuate dry patches, which you wouldn't think it would do that with a balm. So I don't know, like, it's not the worst. It's not like my least favorite product here, 
but it's not gonna be a go-to and I probably won't pick up other colors. And then lastly, I've already mentioned these in other videos, but they are a new Wet n Wild product, so I wanted to include them in this video as well. These are the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks, and I have three different shades. I have 920B Nudie Patootie, and then I have 9, which is this one, and then in the middle I have 924B Rebel Rose, and then I have 926B Berry Recognize. So there are the swatches on those. So these are more of your traditional liquid lipsticks. So if you are a liquid lipstick fan, then I think you will really like these. Um, they are long wearing. They wear like a liquid lipstick, kind of there or not there. They do kind of do the line thing. Well, they don't kind of, they do the line thing. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but I love Rebel Rose. Love the color on that one. Because it's close to my natural lip color, it's not super obvious when it does that line. So. I really, really like this one. And again, if you like liquid lipsticks, I think you'll like these. Nice packaging, kind of like clicks closed. Um, very kind of like dose of colors looking. It's got the like squishy doe foot applicator. So really nice packaging on it. Um, so overall, I do like these. You know, you just have to like liquid lipsticks. I'm not the biggest liquid lipstick fan, but I will definitely reach for this one a lot because I love this one. All right, guys, so those are all the goodies that I have to show you. So just kind of rounding up, my overall favorites would definitely be the concealer. Love this. Great coverage. Just a really nice texture. Love the cushion products. Adorable packaging. They blend nicely. I think they're great. Really like Rebel Rose. Just a beautiful color. Nice liquid lipstick. Nice traditional liquid lipstick. And then I love the lip liner. I want like every color in these liners. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about any of these products. If you tried them out, what are you thinking about them? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.